Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. So this is a very quick tutorial because it's just showing you the 5x7 inside out card and this is doing it with the Father Christmas flying over the chimney tops. So this is what I mentioned about doing during a Facebook Live so I've finally got around to videoing it and sharing it all with you. So if you've seen my original inside out cards they're really fun. I've got a playlist which I will link up here. So this is how it looks on the front. So it's telling the person what they need to do. So turn me inside out, you turn the card around and then you have Santa flying over the, the rooftops or the chimneys there and then you've got all of them at the bottom and then it just stands up and this, this kind of wobbles you know at the top it's they're so fun I've seen so many of these being made now that they're share that, that you're all sharing over on Mixed Up Crafters and they look fantastic so this is my Christmas version and uh, yeah, those of you that have got this stamp set, I hope you know this gives you some more inspiration on how to use it because it is from last year. I will try my hardest to share any links um, if I can see anybody still selling them, but otherwise you might have to adapt it with what you already have or look for some files maybe on the internet or something. But um, it's very, very easy to make. The, the thing for me that took the time of this was the colouring and the blending. I really, I spent a nice few hours watching a movie and just kind of colouring all this in, but I've condensed this video right down and I've done all of that beforehand. All I'm going to show you is how to quickly put it together. You've got room there on the back to be able to write your message and then it just all folds back into that 5x7 size. So let me show you how to make it. Okay, so this is the stamp set. So I got this one last year and I will try and see if I can find anybody that is selling it. You may have more luck on maybe like eBay and the selling sites because this was a licensed stamp that Craft Stash obviously had the license to last year so I don't know if you'd get exactly the same ones again because different companies will license different images but it's the Father Christmas by Raymond Briggs so they've done two there's one of him on the couch there's another one as well I do have them all um, they're lovely and I'm so glad I've got them and hopefully you know those of you that do have it you'll be able to obviously make this card but even people that don't have it you can hopefully do something similar because I know there's a lot of dyes with this silhouette kind of image so there's definitely ways around it but I've got the rooftops there and the actual chimney um, I've masked the rooftops and again I'll talk you through what I've done and then there's the dyes on the back for the turn me inside out I've used my chunky alphabet die set the, they're such a nice size for the greeting I've used this one here which is the Christmas verses by Card Making Magic and then this is the one I've used for the inside where it says Dear Santa but I, ha I have no idea. This was given to me about four years ago so I just I don't know where it's from so if anybody has this and is able to shed some light that would be much appreciated. So that's just to show you what I've done there and then I have gone and done most of the stuff because if you check the playlist here you'll be able to see maybe one you know from scratch but it'll be a different design and you can see the birthday one that I done with the birthday cakes so but this one here so here's the turn me inside out so this is going to be the front of the card when you know the recipient receives it and you can see I've just got a little nod to what's going to be inside on the front here so I've just done the chimneys and I've put some glitter there to um, represent the snow and I've covered all of this with the glossy accents which I absolutely love but you can see just how great those um, alphabet dies are they're such a nice size so that's that one I'm going to go through the sizes in the middle and then inside in a minute and then inside this is the base kind of scene that you're going to have because then we're going to have the chimney tops but you can see there I've just done a row of the houses and this is how I done the masking so I stamped them all first of all then I stamped them again using masking paper so it's a very low tack okay and then you just cut it out and you stick it directly over those stamped images before you've coloured them or after I like to do it before but you can see there then I inked my background, I splatted some white gouache paint because it's a nice opaque so it keeps that white colour and then you just peel them off and then you can colour but it means it hasn't gone over your image so that's how you do that and then there you can see that lovely dear Santa and I've just heat embossed it. Heat embossed it first and then I put my matte layer using cloud glue and that just flattens it all back out again. So these pieces here, this is basically I just got two 5x7 card blanks and I cut them so that they are, you can see there, there's the middle fold. So it's just, this is now a piece of 6x7 scored at 5 inches. So this is a 1 inch piece, okay? And you want two pieces like that. What's going to happen is it's going to stick together like this to form the card again. Mine's going to be a top folding, so it's going to be like that. So then the person gets it, turn me inside out, and as they turn it around, this is then what will 
kind of stand up in front of them. I've already done my mat layer on the back there as well. So what I've got is all these pieces here. Now I've, now I've coloured everything using my Arteza colour pencil. So I've done seven of the chimney tops and I'm going to stick these all along here. Now what I want to do is have them obviously right to the edge, but that's going to hang over. And then when you close the card, you're going to see bits of it. So what I'm going to do, you, may, you know, you'll have different kind of images, but I am just going to cut a wedge off of each side there. And that way, when I stick these down, I can go to the edge there, but that isn't going to overhang. So I might have to come in just a little bit. I might go in just a little bit more, but just see what your images are that you've got and just make sure that it's not going to overhang. You might not be going right to the edge on the other ones that I've done. You know, I don't go right up to the edges like that, but now, yeah, that's better. So I'm going to stick these down. I'm going to overlap some of them behind each other and I'm lining them up with this score line. Now before I stick them down I want to add the acetate with my pop-up element which is obviously going to be Santa and his sleigh but you can see now how that's going to look and I just I love this I think it looks so much <laughs> it just it's come together so well um, but now this is going to go like so so he's flying over the, the rooftops so I've got some acetate here um, it's a nice strong acetate because I want that image to stay upright um, depending on maybe how tall or heavy you have your elements you may if it's not very big and it's not very tall then you, you probably don't need one inch if it's something maybe quite big then maybe you need to have a bit more of a, a kind of hinge here I guess so it does vary but so I'm just going to cut this piece here so it's about three quarters of an inch and I'm going to attach it like so. So I'm just going to grab some red tape. Always use red tape or a good double-sided tape when you're using acetate because it's what will stick you know best. So I'm just going to run just a strip along the top there. Now I will cut another one of these because there's a die for it and just to cover the back but I'll do that you know at the end. But now you can see that that, ha that holds itself really well. It's a really nice stiff acetate. It's just packaging from when I've received my stamps and dies. So what I'm going to do is lay that there and I'll cut the ends off that in a moment and lay this down just so I can see because I want this, to, it's got to sit within here when you close the card up obviously you know because you don't want anything sticking out. So I'm going to just take a little bit off the bottom there because you don't want it sticking out the bottom either and I'm going to have it like so. So I'm going to stick a strip of the tape on the front and back because it needs to stick onto both sides of the card like so. Take the backing off of that. I just realised I haven't put one of my rings on. Gosh, it's my first video of the day, so <laughs> I haven't got myself fully dressed. I feel naked when I don't wear one of my big chunky rings, so I have to sort that out. But anyway, I digress. So I'm just going to lay that now like so. I think that's about right. You don't want the acetate popping out the bottom of this because obviously it will you know, eventually become the top of your card. So I'm just going to, I want to line up the wedges here because you are going to kind of see it. So I'm just going to line the card up just so I can cut this on the same angle. So now I can take that away for a minute and just focus on this one here. So I'm going to start sticking these down. I'm just going to use some of my quick grab glue. Um, you know, they just need to be tacked in place. You don't need to go too mad. But I'm sitting them above that score line. So I'm just, you know, butting them right up to it, but they are just above. I'm going to stick this one over. You kind of want to lay it out because I, I did get the seven just so that they have the exact amount. So it's probably worth kind of placing them so you know roughly that they're all going to fit. You don't want to get to the end and then find that you've run out. Or you've got a bit of space. But I think that's... That's okay there. So I'm just going to go and get these stuck down. And then just make sure 
you can fold that over that's why you want to keep it above that score line so that folds in so now I need to just attach that and you can see how he stands up above the chimney tops so I'm going to use my I'm going to use the Kalau but I'm going to just put some more double sided tape I'm going to put a thicker piece just above there And then I'm going to put this glue here just over the rest of it. So now you just need to lay this one with the bottom of the card. So I'm working on the base there. Get that lined up and then everything else should all come together. So just leave that for a second. I'm just going to flip it over. Yeah, that's fine. And then for the mats and layers, this one here is four and three quarters by six and three quarters, and then four and a half by six and a half, which is the white one. And you can see the message there on the back because this will become the back of the card. So now, so now when you stand it up, you have your flying Santa. So I'm so pleased how it came out. Like I said, it was an idea that I had when I done the live craft along. And I mentioned about this and um, everyone was like, you've got to do it, you've got to show it, come on. <laughs> so here it is and it's another Christmas card done. I think it has such a great look and uh, now I just need to decide who I'm going to give it to. But you just then fold it all up and it will all fit. I've got a little bit overhanging there, um, but it will still fit in the envelope. I don't really want to cut away on the sides of the chimneys there. But, you know, um, you can obviously, you know, change yours to suit whatever the images are that you're using. On the back there, I've just put a plain piece of cardstock just to reinforce it, really. Um, but now that's all ready. And then you just turn it around and there you have it. Your inside out card. I love it. I think it's fantastic. So, so I hope you've enjoyed this version. And for those of you that have been asking, I hope you like how it's turned out. And I, so I will link the other inside out cards here. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you've enjoyed my video, if you click on my face there and then hit the notification bell, then you'll be alerted every time I upload a new tutorial. So thanks for watching and I'll be back again very soon. Bye.